process of overcoming the, the idea of having an implant slowly became easier and easier. Until it's time and the decision was right. So then I started doing research on cochlear implants. Then I got serious. I think everybody's fears are valid. Uh, so they are going to have to do their research. And they are going to have to talk. And they are going to have to ask questions. Joan, the first thing that we're going to do are some sentences, OK? There will be four different speakers. There are two men and two women. And they'll each take a turn saying a sentence, OK? They tried to fashion a weapon from a stick. They tried to, and I'm sorry, I didn't the get the The produce at the market was in horrible condition. Um, supermarket? I didn't the hear the The book was about a child sorcerer. I didn't get that at all. As I go through that process, the phrases are harder to catch. Uh, the, the words are more difficult if you have no context around them. When we consider somebody for a cochlear implant, we consider their natural hearing. So when we did those soft sounds and you indicated when you heard those with the button. Um, and then we look at their speech perception with appropriately fit hearing aids. Okay. At the top, we have the frequency range going from low frequencies to high frequencies. Okay. On the side, we have volume. So we go from soft all the way down louder sounds at the bottom. When I had finally had another test, and it was explained to me that in a cochlear implant, the doctor explained this to me, that he just goes in, he doesn't even, he doesn't even have to shave away any of the hair he had, which was not a big issue with me, but he was just explaining how easy it is. So let's talk a little bit about the process, and I'm going to show you the device, both the internal and the external, okay? okay. I would be asking her first about the surgery. Is it going to hurt? How long am I going to be in hospital? Um, what's the recuperation time? Will it work? This is the part that's the internal receiver. And the surgeon will place this electrode array into your cochlea. And each of these electrodes is how, through that, is how you will hear sound. All of those questions are what I would be asking her. And then, of course, with the surgeon, what's he going to do, you know, how long, am I going to be sick from it? That's a decision I had to make, so I just, you know, uh, I trusted my doctor and I trusted my audiologist. And if they said, you know, this is good for you, then, then I trusted them and oh, that's good for me. Oh, I've got your number on my call ID. I can call you back and, and maybe even tomorrow morning, would that be all right? And there are many, many people that have cochlear implants now. I think even the kids, they can see the kids out there with implants and they're doing wonderful.